All right, boys and girls, we're back for another skill on the ACT math, another one that shows up pretty frequently. This is a skill of Venn diagrams, and I'm going to show you when to know this is going to show up and how to do it. So let's get right into it. First of all, I'll let you read number seven. It says 50 shoppers at a pet store, yada, yada. It says cats only, dogs only, both cats and dogs. How many of these shoppers said that they own neither a cat nor a dog? Well, I'm already in that mindset of a Venn diagram. Again, when I see these words, both, how many people own both cats? How many people only eat, only not eat dogs or eat cats, hopefully, but how many people own cats or own dogs or really own neither? This is that skill of a Venn diagram. And a Venn diagram allows us to organize our thoughts. Without a Venn diagram, these questions become very difficult. Let's take a look at how to do something like this. Let's say that this is cats and this is dogs. From there, it does say that both cats and dogs, so I'll put the seven in the middle. It says that 13 are cats only and 24 are dogs only. Interesting. Well, it then says, how many of these shoppers said that they owned neither a cat nor a dog? Well, yeah, I'm trying to fill in this gap over here. How many people don't own either of these? Well, it does say that in the question that 50 shoppers, again, 50 shoppers total were surveyed. In that case, what would I do? Well, I would find that 13 and 7 make 20, 20 and 24 make 44. At the end of the day, it's 50 minus 44. The answer, my friends, is 6. There are 6 people in this corner that have not no pet, that do not own neither a cat nor a dog. This one's not that bad without a Venn diagram, but trust me, it really does help. This is from a 2020 ACT. The next one is from an even more recent ACT. I've labeled it right there. It's an April 22 ACT, just a few months ago. This question was on an ACT and a lot of my students struggled with it. Let's take a read. It says, in a small high school with 20 seniors, eight of the seniors are in soccer, nine of the seniors are in band, and five of the seniors are in both. How many of the seniors are in neither band nor soccer? Again, how many people are in neither band nor soccer? It's given us how many are both. This is band. This is soccer. This is, again, in that mindset or in that frame of a Venn diagram. So let's come up with it. So we have soccer here, perhaps, and band here. The best place to start is probably in the middle. It says five seniors are in both. So five seniors are in both. It says that eight of the seniors are in soccer totally. Again, eight of the seniors are in soccer, so eight will fill in this. But wait a second. If five are already here and eight should be in the total, shouldn't this be three? Three and five make eight. Now take a look at band. There are nine seniors in band, but five of them in the, are in the middle already. How many should be just in band? I would argue four. From there, understand that we have three plus five plus four, which adds up to 12. Again, three plus five plus four equals 12. Therefore, it says 20 seniors total. What's 20 minus 12? I'm getting eight. The answer, my friends, is eight. Really, eight should be in this space outside of the Venn diagram. Please let me know if that makes any sense in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But we have one last question coming to us from an older ACT. But they do ask this. I'll read it real quick. It says, in a large high school, some teachers teach only one subject and some teachers teach more than one subject. Blah, blah, blah. How many teachers teach only math? Again, how many teachers teach only math? So even before I know that this is a Venn diagram question, it says two in gym only, one in math, gym, and science, five in both math and science. Wow, this is really giving me Venn diagram vibes. In that case, 
come down here to my nice little Venn diagram on the right-hand side, how would I do a question like this? Well, first of all, understand that this piece is probably where I want to start. This is math, this is gym, and this is science. In that case, there's one person in the middle, two in gym only, so two in gym only would be there, five in both math and science, but not gym, so five would be here, six in both gym and science, but not math, gym and science, but not math, so that's six. From there, let's start picking this apart. It says, I'll do it in a different color here, 20 in science total. Again, 20 in science total. In that case, if this is 5 and this is 1 and this is 6, that adds up to 12. Mustn't this be 8? think so. What about 10 in at least one class of gym? Well, 10 will take up the total there. Really, 1, 6, and 2 is 9. Mustn't this be 1? From there, the last piece of this is probably going to unravel our puzzle of finding only math. Well, if 12 people are in math total, 5, 1, 1 makes 7. This must have been 5. Our final answer is H. 5 are in math only. I'll zoom out so you can see all three questions again. As always, if you have any questions, holler off in the comments. I promise I will get back to you. But for now, if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.